Hello, I'm Maya, or The Musician Girl 1 on YouTube. This is my tutorial channel, The Musician Girl Tutorials, where I teach you everything that I've learned so far about the violin. Um, so today I'm going to be talking to you about something very important to understand, um, and that is the names of the notes on your violin. So it might seem kind of unimportant at first, I mean you can learn to play by ear without knowing the names of the notes on your violin, you can kind of mess around, figure out your own stuff without knowing the names of the notes, but as soon as you start um, learning how to read with music and playing with people, knowing what the notes are called on your violin is absolutely essential. And it's really easy to figure out, thankfully. So what I've done, I'm going to um, show you quickly in a video, visually, how to find the name, um, how to find the notes on your violin, and how to know what to call them. Um, and I've also created um, a printable document, which I'm going to scan and upload to my website. I'll put a link in the description below. And this is a fingering chart, which will help you know exactly what the names of the notes are at every step along the way. And I'll go over how to read it at the end of the video, if you're interested. So, let's start with the names of the strings on the violin. Um, I presume most of you know the names of the strings, but if not, let's just review. So the top string is called E. Next one down is A. D. And G. So E, A, D, G. Those are the names of open strings without any fingers on. So let's start on the A because it's easy. A is the beginning of the alphabet. I'm going to start with A. And you're going to put your first finger on. Your first finger is called a B. Makes sense, right? Comes after A. So let's put our second finger on, right next to the first finger. That's a C. Next is going to be our third finger. That's a D. And next is our fourth finger, which is E, which is also the next string up. It's also E. So you don't always have to use your fourth finger. There is actual reasons why you should use your fourth finger sometimes, but I'm not going to get into that now. Just know that your fourth finger is the same note as the string above on your violin. Okay, so that's how you figure out um, the names of the notes. You just go up the fingerboard. Um, same on the other string, so E, F sharp, G, A. Now, of course, things get a little bit more complicated than that. It can't be that easy. It is still easy, though, don't worry. Um, so you'll notice just then that I said F sharp. I didn't just say F. Um, the reason for that is that there are intervals in between almost all of the notes. If you guys are familiar with a piano keyboard, you'll know that there's the white keys and then there's the black keys. So the white keys are the names of the notes themselves. If you just play the white keys, you'll go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, on and on. Um, now the black notes in between are the semitones. So it's kind of like half a tone, a semitone. And those have names such as A sharp or B flat. A sharp and B flat, incidentally, are the same note, which makes sense because A sharp, you're raising the A a little bit, B flat, you're lowering the B a little bit, and they end up to be the same note. So where do these all fit in on the violin? Well, how it works is you start on the A, now what if, instead of putting our first finger down, we put our low one down? Then we have either an A sharp or a B flat. Generally we refer to it as a B flat, because that's usually, um, we usually play in a key signature that has B flats, more than we play in a key signature that has A sharps. So I always think of, to myself, this is a B flat, but it could be called either. Now let's move our finger up one little notch to our first, first finger position, and there's a B. Now let's put on our second finger right next to the B. Would you think that's a B sharp? You wouldn't be mistaken thinking that it's a B sharp because I mean technically I guess you could call it a B sharp and not really nobody does that. It's actually a C. Um, and now here's where it gets confusing because you know how on piano there's two, sometimes there are two white keys right next to each other without a black key in the middle? That means that there's no 
sharp or flat in between those two notes. So there's no black key in between a B and a C, and there's no black key in between an E and an F. That's all you need to remember. As long as you remember that, then you're good. So there is no B sharp or C flat, and there is no E sharp or F flat. So let's keep that in mind. So we're going to go A, E flat, B, C, but there's no, um, oh sorry, um, A, B flat, B, but there's no B sharp, there's no C flat, so you're going to go directly to C. C sharp, D, E, and there's no E sharp and there's no F flat, so you're just going to go directly to F. F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B. There you go. Um, so that's how you figure out the names of the notes. It all goes in order, um, and I am now going to show you quickly how to read this chart. So let's zoom in a little bit closer and see how that works. Okay, so here's the chart. I'm holding it in front of me. Um, so here's how it works. On this side, it's going to tell you your finger, where your finger is. This up here, these are all the strings. So the four strings of your violin, and I've got them labeled at the top. top. This is the G, the lowest string, D, A, E. Okay. Now, the names of the notes are written up here, and if the, na if the note has two names, for, ex if, for example, if it's in the middle of two notes, and it can be either like an A sharp or a B flat, then I've just written them with slashes. Okay. So here's like a D sharp or an E flat, both both names are correct. So um, here's how you can figure out what all the notes are called. So if I am playing a high second finger on the D string, that would be either an F sharp or a G flat. So you, um, I will upload this to www.themusiciangirl.com and you can have a look at it whenever you need a reminder. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.